1.7 million Americans, many of them veterans, are confined to wheelchairs, living a life with limited exercise opportunities. That can lead to several medical complications, including diabetes and obesity. Now, a retired Austin Air Force captain, himself a wheelchair user, wants to change that. And all new at 5 KXAN's David Scott reports he's doing it with the help of engineering students from UT and Texas State. I can show you an example. Manual wheelchair users, I want them to have some of the same fun and activity that is a walking person would, would have. Christopher Stanford, in a wheelchair 20 years since retiring from the Air Force with spinal problems, knows the frustration wheelchair users can have. I can go to a Gold's Gym. There are 24 of, uh, exercise platforms that they can use. Um, the, from, from treadmills to other exercise devices. If you go in, there's nothing for a wheelchair user. For years in his garage workshop, he's been developing a stationary platform that can provide virtual but very real play and exercise. His eighth prototype is now patented, and he couldn't have done it without the contribution of some two dozen UT and Texas State engineering students. There are some great ideas uh, that I, I didn't even think about. Uh, they also bring expertise that I don't, I don't have. Complex to create, simple to use. Okay, there you go. Can't go back any farther. Get a good position. Okay, that's it. That's it. You're up. You're up. The wheelchair fitness trainer offers unlimited 360 degree action, and it gets better. This smart sensor can interface with video game systems like Wii and PlayStation to enhance the experience. The possibilities are limitless. I'm looking at. Exertainment. I want people to exercise. Stanford's ready to go commercial. He's already sold one platform, but all this has come out of his own pocket, and now partners would be helpful. There are very few places that will partner with you. The, the idea of partnering with a manufacturer, it's, I hate to say it, but it's, it's bogus. It doesn't, it's not a, a, a reality. Maybe someone will step up and make it a virtual reality. At Texas State, David Scott, KXAN, Austin News. Now.